get this going. Music's a little too loud. Uh. There we go. All right, perfect. started this is yesterday's Makoto drawing so today had a poll on Twitter got about 30 responses which is not bad and it's Sakura's turn who was like when I was like what 14 whatever in 96 when Street Fighter Alpha 2 came out I thought she was gonna be like my main character like forever and I tried to get good with her for a very long time and I totally sucked the entire time. So, yeah. <laughs> but, super cool design. Cool character, cool idea. So, let's see if I can make something that's semi-decent. These are supposed to be super quick sketches, so... I like to start with just random shapes and then refine, refine, refine till I find something I like. So, no real rules when it comes to this stuff, you know. This is not like a polished illustration or anything. feels like it doesn't fit the character and I'll just start over usually I kind of just start sketching action poses and then assign a character I like to the pose because I feel like that makes sense but today it's like character specific which actually makes it more difficult because you have to think about what the character will do like this is already looking more like a Chun-Li pose Yeah, yeah, this is definitely a chunly pose. Never mind. Next. don't draw the faces right away. If you draw the face too early, yes. Unless you have a cool idea in mind, you kind of just get stuck with that. You know, with drawing a pretty face and want to stick to it when, you know, most of the drawing is not the face. So, focus on what most of the drawing is about. You can get to the face later. too restrictive. I have a bad habit of wanting to plant the feet like this, but I want it to have more movement, like if the foot hasn't touched the ground yet. So it looks like she's landing from something. You can already tell I'm not too concerned with anatomy. <laughs> That's not a thing. <laughs> I 
kind of just follow my instincts on this stuff. I mean, I've had pretty extensive training in anatomy my whole life, so winging it works for me most of the time. At least for this kind of piece. Yeah, looks like chicken legs. Nope, nope, nope. I do like the top already though. I like these billowing shapes. Get some torso in there, some rotation. It's not bad. When people do character fan art, they have a habit or a tell that is like, okay, this is a character from this video game, and this character does these moves. So I'm gonna draw these moves, and that's fine. That that works for a lot of people, but I found out that if I do that, I draw the most boring shit ever. Like, so that I'm I'm not gonna draw her doing a Hadouken or a Shuriken or whatever. I'm gonna draw something that I feel the character could do in an actual fight and it still feels like it's the character you know so it could be throwing a kick or landing from a jump or twisting and, and something and Sakura is kind of a clumsy character so if it and a jovial character so if it looks like she's having fun or she looks a little overwhelmed or she doesn't know how to deal but she still kind of like holds her shit together like that works suppose that could happen but it's like awkward family photo shit This knee here works. You get some good uh, contrast between extended arm on one side and folded leg on the other. So that's usually pretty pleasant. Which would then determine that if this is doing this kind of shape on this side, then on this side we kind of need something straighter to compensate. Or you could do something like this. Uh, which actually does work, but I kind of did that yesterday <laughs> for the Makoto drawing, right? You know, so... Hmm... We can do better. That could work. And if the 
foot is kind of like pointing upwards. There you go. That's not terrible. And then we have this other foot going that way. And then you know, this like is is a little monstrous. So let's tone it down. Something fun with the skirt. Yeah, okay. Okay, we can live with this. Making a copy because I'm gonna change some shit. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what if we pretend that's the other leg? And it's like doing splits hardcore. to be a little bit longer. A little unrealistic, yes, but it helps sell the movement. Maybe this is curling inwards. She's not making a fist at all. Okay, now is not a bad time to get some facial expression going. bad habit of drawing the faces too zoomed in. Then I zoom out and I freak out because it looked terrible. Seems a little big. There we go.
to me that feels like the character. Now if the sailor outfit is going up and the skirt is going up it would stand to reason that her hair be doing the same thing. Now when you do crazy hair movement stuff, you have a chance of, or you're on the risk of making the character less recognizable, so you have to be a little careful with it. Like you cannot just be like, well, ah. I know, but luckily hair doesn't always make a lot of sense, so you can keep some of the familiar shapes. While then having the rest of it act the way you want it to. Less than 20 minutes so far, that's not bad. Uh, okay. Traditional linking would usually dictate that, you know, I make a new layer and I trace it and whatnot. But I'm not doing that. Part of this exercise is to get more comfortable with working loose, keep the energy of the drawing going. So, just gonna work with what I got. I also like the idea of keep working with this triangle brush. It's a good brush. If you use the same brush that you pencil, that you ink, that you color with, then the whole piece has this sense of cohesiveness, which I like. I don't want to go too muscular with Nexon Woman. It can look odd every now and then. If that's what you're going for, sure. But for a character like this, you don't want to introduce a lot of differences between like sculpted body and like cartoonish young face. can go sideways pretty quickly. Anytime you can have a character reacting to something in a drawing instead of just standing there looking pretty, I heavily recommend it. Even some sketch lines is good, but you know, if you have a line that makes it look like she has a mustache, <laughs> you can go ahead and clean that up. So like the 
this line, which is the earlier bandana line. Doesn't add to the sketchiness, it just adds confusion. Especially when you want to emphasize lines with the eyes and whatnot. There. This is this is a lot cleaner than I usually do for these. I mean, that's somewhat detailed, but it's pretty loose. That's a little clean, but it's still pretty rough. That's like almost nothing. And that's yeah. See, so there's a lot of sketch lines here that I kept. So I'm going cleaner, but it's also the most visible face. Let's see, I don't want to draw the back of the bandana, so I'm just going to hide it. Good to shun realism. In this case, let's draw the rest of the body though. I should have done that earlier instead of getting to the face. There's a lot of elements here that need to be taken care of. Big hassle to keep fighting with this stuff hitting your face all the time. You think after being in 5000 Street Fighter games you can change your freaking outfit already? But whatever. Big shoulder shapes. Hmm. I really should have drawn this earlier. There's a bunch of layers here. Let's 
just jump into it. Right. Sometimes I do. I forget what the hell I'm drawing. It's like, what, what was this again? Right, right, right. Time to draw hands. I like drawing hands. That's not a problem. Let's go skinnier. Also important to his characters is to realize that, you know, and a lot of artists do this and it drives me nuts. It's like, not all women characters look the same, you know? Like, the anatomy is different. Sakura is not like a power lifter, a traditionally f trained fighter or anything, so she doesn't need to have muscles that Chun Li or Kami would, or Ibuki, that type of deal. You know, she can have useful muscles, but it's more like flexible mus muscle. So a bit more on the quote-unquote elastic, frail-looking side, but not 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 frail. Uh, taut, yeah, taut's a good one. There you go. You see so many artists that they're like, okay, I'm going to draw one standard hot female that she's going to have these steps of abs and these steps of arms and everything. And it's like, no, man, there's so much more out there. To me, that's the fun part, you know.
I like those lines. I'm gonna keep them. Alright. Hands can be tricky, so let's not worry about the equipment too much. Let's just get each finger figured out first. With fingers, you usually want one or two of them to kind of have some personality or go into some perspective like this pinky here. So that one I focus on. Uh, let's see, it looks like she has some there. Let's get that in early so I don't forget. The thumb. If I remember correctly, the way these things work, she would need some thumb assistance too. It's kind of like the way you wrap gloves anyways. Yeah, that looks shitty. It looked right, but didn't feel right. Let's just leave that. Again, action pose, loose sketch. Let's not get too crazy with super accurate fingers. As long as they don't look too broken and they have good movement. That's really all I care about right now. big hands though. She could grab her entire torso with her hands. <laughs> okay, fine. A little smaller. Uh, I can probably hack this. Uh, there you go. And then clean it up. That's a little better. It, wasn't, it doesn't look like the lady does strike from the X-Men anymore. Let's avoid that tangent. There we go. Very easy with hair to just do the outside silhouette and then just do the front and then it then it feels like it's one flat mass of hair. So if you can just add some extra shapes in the middle to make it feel like it's full, you know, like it's 3D. It's important to add volume and shape to your art. Don't need to see the bandana there. There, let's clean this up a little bit. Mm. Not too much. Sometimes things can look too clean. All right, perfect. Uh, all right, let's see. 
arm, deltoid shoulder, navy uniform, there. Try to add as much movement as possible out of simple things. So this shape right here, right? I could have just drawn it next to the body, but if you give it a little extra room, it just adds um, some extra folds. Now there's more movement to it. <laughs> That's gonna be the hand, and this needs to rotate. There. Anatomy, yo. Getting proper rotation is important. And then you can see some contrast, right? Because here she's not really flexing. It's like a relaxed reactionary pose. But here, add some tension to it. Mixed with her expression and her action, it, it tells a story. Makes you feel like there's something that has her attention that she's reacting to. You don't have to explain what it is. It's like old Bugs Bunny cartoons where they spend more time on the anticipation of action than the action itself. You know, like you're more worried about Wally Coyote uh, potentially falling down a cliff than when he actually falls down the cliff, which you barely ever see. It's just like far away stuff. You will be surprised how well that works with most action based things. Okay, let's bring back this a little bit. Something like that. Don't need all this junk. All right. Um, not the easiest hand pose, but let's go ahead and do it anyways. It's the thumb. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's not broken. Not too broken. Clean that up. Uh, ba 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 bum. Okay. All right. Cool. So it's pinky. Ring finger, middle finger. Let's skip that thumb straight. Not 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 perfect really. But hmm. 
Mm. Yeah, that's looking pretty broken. I'm okay with some broken, but this is a little much. the thumb let me rotate okay okay that's starting to make more sense many times all you need is a little change of perspective and you can be like oh right Bit of a Wing Chun pose, really. But hey, this chick knows martial arts, you know. Then put the pad. Just a little bit bigger to compensate with her other ginormo hand. Does that make sense? Is the thumb supposed to be there? Yeah, it's on the outside, right? Yeah, because if she would rotate her hand... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That totally works. It's a little extra rotation there, just in case. It does look funky. But maybe that's okay. Hmm. Let me see if I try to make that. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing the pose right now. It's the wrist definitely goes more than it should, but it's it's something you can kind of do. Oh well. You know what? The internet is totally welcome to yell at me if I get it wrong. Ah, fuck. Okay, you know what? One more. See, was the let me see if the fist idea was really that bad from the beginning. Yeah, that kind of works. Like a fist that was open. Was closed, but it's starting to open. Fine, I'll do that instead. Damn it.
convincing myself of doing more work is, is a very um, happens a lot let's put it that way <laughs> I mean, I'm just starting this Twitch thing, so I don't really have an audience yet, so I don't have any of you guys yelling at me yet. So, eventually, at some point, we'll get there. For now, I'll just yell at myself. <clears throat> yeah, that works better. Just got rid of this old crap. Let's figure this out. This is a mess. Usually I'm okay with a mess, but there's just too many little random squiggles here. show her panties because we're not some cheap anime over here some self-respect yo
Mm, skirts are complicated sometimes because it's just folds and folds and folds and you gotta you gotta be realistic but you gotta be artsy so these Japanese skirts A good chance for some fun shapes. Just gotta be careful. See that guy there. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna draw them as well as Nishimura or Ben. Or, you know, Bengal, so might as well just roll with it. Just draw them my way. Okay, there we go. Mm, that's not great, but... That's okay, let's move on. Muscles, how you work. Right. Right. There you go. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this is gonna go into space so closer to us. Don't wanna Too many people draw the shin bone like totally straight. I like to bend it a little bit. Not not the most realistic thing in the world, but there. <laughs> Deal with it. <clears throat> Looks cool. Do want the calf muscle to be more tense. Okay, now she's got all stars on. This stuff's always hard to draw. Like in my head, I know what I want, but there we go. to rotate a little bit probably uh, yeah that helps Cause there's realism and there's also the way the the shoes themselves are stylized with the extra thick soles
And one that's iconic, one thing that's iconic about this character is the shoes. Shoes are dope. They add like a that extra bit of personality that is not just a schoolgirl. It's one of the few elements of the design that does that. So you have to make sure at least that they stand out. So you know, you can give you just a little extra extra love. Her hands are bigger than her feet. Great. Uh, <sighs> Alright, let's see if I can fix that. See, now, these size, that size is actually more realistic. This just looks better. Because it goes well with the hands, it goes well with the character. All right, going bigger. Stuff that's farther away could deal to have a smaller line work, thinner line art. I think, yeah, this is there you go. There we go. Okay, now this leg. This leg is getting really stretched back. So, here's the knee. And it's stretching from all the way here. I like for it to look like it's bending into space more instead of kind of like a flat bend. But uh, maybe that's a good place to have a compromise. So yeah, that helps. Hmm, 
rest of this how is difficult because that's a semi unnatural pose for a foot to begin with so which but you can still do it you know just like you can make your foot flat when you hit a soccer ball that's doable basically background elements so mm, don't love it looks like a dead limb should I be more loose Yeah, that works. It sells the foreshortening of this foot, it works well with this shape, this works well together. Alright, this is looking pretty ready for colors now. No, I, I got colors uh, pre-made, so it's gonna look like the colors are just gonna magically show up. But I'm just color picking. So. Colors on these uh, on this series, I'm going mm, fairly minimalistic. It's almost like I only paint uh, the shadows. So here I'm giving a light direction from basically there. And again, no, no, not super tight either. It's just you know for fun. If I can create separation, that's that's basically all I want.
it's good to erase too when you're paint when you're coloring rendering rather there's some colors I don't necessarily want to mix A little spillage, so good. Sell that depth basic tones. Okay, let's put some skin. It's too dark. Don't like it. there getting there we're getting close all right let's zoom in a little bit for the face because that's important Doesn't need a ton of detail, just a little bit. Oh yeah, and there is some yellow. Not gonna not gonna overdo it though. Otherwise it'll overpower. She's got more colors than you might assume at first glance, you know. It's looking pretty good. up the shapes and all. Mm-hmm. 
Adding a little bit of blue to your skin tones is not a bad idea usually. Okay, now I usually like to put a splash of color in the back of these. Kind of an accent. She's got a bunch of colors though. So let's see if green works. Yeah, that'll work. the offending bits Sign this sucker. Um, maybe the face needs a bit more work. Yeah, that's pretty good though. The hair, just a teensy more detail. Going for the minimalist approach can be difficult because sometimes it's not just not do shit. <laughs> it's picking the right angles, the right shapes to put accents on. I think that looks done this ended up taking a little longer than I thought it would uh, let's see about an hour and some change um, this is archived so you know feel free to take a look at it later I'll um, I'm gonna start uploading these to YouTube as well it's uh, under Raging Spaniard is the same kind of name uh, but oh I forgot there's some green bits left over ah. So I'll make another one of these tomorrow, probably on the same time. I'll try to get a schedule together. Uh, I'm trying to improve, improve my Twitch setup. So there's like a camera and uh, it's a little easier on the eyes. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but yeah, gonna try to make this more of a thing. So thanks a lot for watching. I uh, hope you come back. You know, if subscribing is your thing and I intend to give up with this, so please do. And uh, thank you so much. Have a great day and get your weekend started soon. All right. Bye-bye.